So what is going on everybody? So today we actually got some news about the division of Heartland. Well, it wasn't really official official news, but it is true. Um, there is a closed test going on. If you guys haven't heard, there is multiple closed tests going on, but if you weren't selected, well, don't feel too bad because hey, I haven't been part of any of them. So if you are, well, then you're probably under NDA and you probably can't be talking too much about the game because that's what they make you sign before you play. But the last closed test, you guys all know, there was plenty of leaks that came out. There was videos that came out. If you guys search hard enough, you probably can still find them. Because, you know, once something goes live on the internet, it just spreads like wildfire. And it's really hard for them to really control it. And it, and it sucks. But there were some leaks. There was a lot of people, like, saying, what does this gameplay? It looks so horrible. I will tell you, based on some sources, the game looks 100 times better during this closed test. So... That's what I've been hearing on the streets. So I will tell you guys that don't stress it too much. That was probably just a really, really early alpha build. And supposedly this one looks really good. So what we do know, guys, if you guys haven't been keeping up with the Division Heartland, those news, those articles has been published. It is kind of like, a, I guess when you want to say like a battle royale type-ish with survival elements. There's a PvE mode and a PvP mode. So a little bit for everybody this is a free to play so you will not have to pay any money and it is a standalone game so you won't have to really worry about having any of the other divisions installed 100 percent standalone game free to play and it's part of the division universe now i have been trying to find out more information on this will we be getting an open beta which i'm predicting 100 there should be an open beta coming usually when you have these closed tests that get closer and closer you start to get that open beta and i think that's probably right before we get our official trailer we'll get the then they'll announce the open beta date during that trailer kind of like what they did with x defiant if you guys remember x defiant closed test and then all of a sudden sorry not closed test, the trailer announcement and then that was for the closed test the one thing i hope they don't do what they did with x defiant is they gave a bunch of gameplay out to streamers youtubers to put out we were able to play the game but we couldn't even record it and talk about it it was kind of dumb like like just if you're already gonna put out gameplay then why not just let us record it make our own gameplay and have fun with it so hopefully they don't do it that way hopefully this one will be more of an open beta and they'll go forward like that if you guys haven't heard though ubisoft this was actually supposed to come out before the division 2 content and we officially know that the division 2 new content will be coming february january is when we'll get the official details, news, and everything that is coming. And then February is when it will drop. Now, if you look at this, this little map right here, Division Heartland, you see it's before. So it was supposed to come out before this roadmap. They need to redo this. They need to refix this. Let us know where they stand. And that way we can kind of kind of um, have a better picture of what's going on with the Division Heartland. Now, based on a few sources and even GameSpot, and I already covered this, they actually pushed this and Prince of Persia till 2020, sorry, 2022 to 2023 FY, which that means that that is from April 2022 till March 2023. So it could come out anytime between there. Now, Prince of Persia did come out and give an official statement, as you guys see right here, an update from Prince of Persia Sands team. And they just say that they wanted to update the game to be to the top quality standards that they want. They're delaying it, blah, blah, blah. Now, nothing from the division right it was nothing at all we haven't heard anything from red storm we haven't heard anything from the official division two team we, we just haven't heard anything and it's kind of weird that they keep us in the dark like this they came out they published this article a long time ago gave us some pretty good details right they talk about it being a standalone saying that you have the, they want this game to feel like you don't need to have any type of division experience and you can go into this game and just have fun so that is what they did say in this article and all it said right here says the game will be available 2021 to 2022 on pc consoles and cloud now i'm predicting that this probably will be cross play based on how free to play games are right now so any of you guys asking for that probably what we're looking at but it's still still not enough information just remember it is free to play and it is standalone now this this roadmap doesn't show anything that i need now for the closed test, how do we know this is going on? Well, if you look, someone actually tweeted this image of closed test, Tom Clancy Division Heartland closed test release date today, and that was November 12th. And then 
we got an official, well, not official, but Mr. Tom Henderson himself, the writer at VGC News, IGN, and Real Gaming Intel. Look what he wrote. The Tom Clancy Division Heartland close test started yesterday, and he posted that one day later from that post. So if you look here, this was posted on November 12th. This was posted November 13th, and I've been hearing the same thing on the streets that it this is currently going on, right? So the second, the one that was supposed to happen the the end of last month actually got canceled from what I heard. And then this one was the, the makeup date. So it's kind of cool to see that they're, they're, they're moving along. It sucks that this game is being delayed, but I think it's for the better. And I'm hoping they're taking that feedback and I'm hoping these players are giving that feedback. And if you guys haven't signed up for the play test, you guys can sign up for it. If you guys were part of the first one, doesn't mean you would have been part of this one. If you're part of this one, doesn't mean you'll be part of the next one. Just how it works when they do these closed tests. So I want to know what do you guys expect out of this game mode? I, I think it could be really big for our community. I think it could be big bringing new players in. I think it needs to be a little bit different than what we usually are vision. Like I, I think it needs to be a little different than what we're used to expecting like out of a division game. I think it has to be a little bit different to really capture a different audience, but hopefully it keeps the core mechanics from the division. It gives you that division feel, but then also is i want to say no not, not as complex as maybe like a real hardcore looter shooter you got from a division for the heartland since this is free to play and you and if it's going to have those survival elements obviously you guys play survival survival was was a little bit not as intense with builds i would say that's what i'm trying to get with like hopefully it's not all around builds but we'll, we'll see what they what they bring out to us let me know what you guys think are you guys excited for this game well i know i am I'm a big Division fan. If you guys watch my channel, we cover a lot of Division on here, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um, if you guys haven't already, remember guys, we do have Nothing But Skills 2.0 where it's strictly Division stuff. This channel is a lot of games. If you want strictly, strictly Division 2 stuff, a lot more daily uploads for the Division, well, that is actually on the other channel. And I'll put a link down below. Hopefully you guys go check it out. We just broke 45,000 subscribers over there, so it was actually a pretty cool day yesterday for us over there on that channel. We're gonna wrap it up here, guys. I appreciate the support. Hey, appreciate the love. I just wanna say thank you guys again for everything you guys do for me. You guys allow me to do this. You allow me to pro for provide you content. You guys trust in me. You guys come back and you guys watch my videos. You drop likes, you comment. Hey, it, it, it's no better feeling to have you guys supporting me. So I appreciate you guys. So we'll wrap it up here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, hey, nothing but skills is out.